Hi YouTube, um, today I'm here to show you a tutorial here on your Razer mouse. Mine, you can hear, the left click is nice and tactile, but the right one is mushy and it's not making proper contact with the, the contact inside. So it either won't register or it'll like click a bunch. So I'm going to show you how to fix this today on YouTube. So a lot of people think that you need to take that screw out down here to get into your mouse sensor, but I'm going to show you how to do it today without that because not everybody has uh, a screwdriver that'll fit that really small bit and like a pocket knife won't work. Now you're going to have to be careful when you do this with your mouse. Um, one of these could help you. It's like a little jabber. I'm gonna try and do it with my hand first, um, just to show you know what you can do at home. So we're gonna try and lift up on this part right here. I'm sorry for the bad camera. So we're just gonna gently, gently lift up on it until it, till it, till it comes off, like that. So I don't know if you can see that. Now we're gonna do the other side. All right, it's not one to. So this one's off, this one not so much, so I'm going to show you how to, normally it's supposed to pop off, um, so now now we've got this this piece off here, so now be careful with it because it is very fragile, like, so don't, don't, don't break it because like, I don't know if you can see it, it mine's already got a crack in there, so i um, going to go ahead and move that. To the to the side there so we didn't end up needing this but if you wanted to try like a more precision surgical maneuver you can do just that um, so now so okay I don't know if you can see that one of those is like up more than the other one I, I, I don't don't know if that's supposed to be like that. So what I'm going to do is come in here, kind of, kind of push it back down, like, and are you, as you can see, I'm not using any pressure at all. I mean, I'm really just, just basically suggesting it where to go, you know. All right, for the next piece, uh, the next part here, you're going to need uh, a shoestring. A loaded gun. Oh, hold on. And then whatever else like you have laying around. So what we're gonna do here now, and and you need some like lubricant here because we're just gonna gently lubricate the contacts. Uh, this is very important. If you don't do it, your mouse may not register clicks at all. So we're just gonna fill that up real good. And while while I mean the right one was the only one giving us issues, but while we're in here we might as well do the left side so that way it'll prevent it from locking up like the right one did and just get it I mean just less is more guys I mean it's really simple so we're gonna go ahead and get these the surgical equipment out of the way now some people don't do this because they say it's it's not necessary because of the roller bearing in here but I'm actually going to uh, further lubricate inside of the, uh, the the roller here to extend the lifetime now what I try and do is I try and get it on the side of the wheel and then scroll it down and kind of just like push it up against the edge there. And you'll feel it just like as it gets lubricated, it'll it'll just roll faster and, and easier. So typically when you have one side done, uh, you move to the other side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and it's okay to get a little dirty, you know, cause it's fine, you know. So it's, it's a little, uh, little, little messy here. Um, so that should be feeling, you know, nice and frictionless um, now that that's working the last thing you want to do and this is just you know to extend the lifetime duration of your mouse I, I choose to do it but I put a little bit just a, not too much just a little bit inside the inside the sensor hole there because it just helps you know with the friction on the bottom of the mouse put some on typically where where your mouse hits your desk um, Again, just less is more guys really just spread it around um, 
it's really not hard. So just make sure it's in there real good. And just spread it evenly, evenly, because you don't want to have one spot slicker than the other one, you know. Uh, and I'm just using Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Uh, it's the same stuff I use. Um, never mind. But, you know, you could use a lithium grease. You could use pretty much any paste grease, like preferably oil-based. Um, it'll keep it on there for long. Now that we're done with our mouse, you, you, I mean, I'm not gonna bother to clean this up because it's underneath of the faceplate. You know what I mean? It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make a difference. But if you wanted to like wipe this off, you could. Um, again, I, I don't see the point in doing that because I'm just gonna shove this faceplate back on. Now this is hopefully where we don't break it while we put it back on. You know, we just put it bottom first, click it back on like that. And then one side at a time. Actually, we'll do both sides at a time to risk uh, not breaking it. So there we go. Now it's on. You can hear that they're basically identical now. So we have hopefully a fixed mouse and a new lubricated roller bearing in there. As well as a frictionless bottom part. And then this lubricant down here should keep the sensor going for as long as you have the mouse. Because your warranty may not always cover things like this you know with the mouse clicker they might just cover the the functionality of it not being detected or whatever by your PC so this is really gonna keep it working for a long time even after your warranty expires so uh, I hope that was helpful for you guys uh, again leave comments down in the in the, the comments section below uh, like and subscribe um, and, and thanks for watching I mean again if you have any comments about this just let me know but uh yeah that's brand new razor mouse now